Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about what is difference between select and collect method in PySpark using Databricks. So before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Databricks, PySpark, SQL, Python and so on. So if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let me go to the notepad before going, before going to the demo part. Here I have written the definition of collect and the select functions or method. So we will go one by one. First, collect is an action operation that is used to retrieve all the element of the data set to the driver node. We should use the collect on a smaller data set. We should not use collect on very large data set, otherwise we will get OOM issue or error. It retrieves all element in a, in, in a data frame as an array of row type to the driver node. Collect is an action, hence it does not return a data frame instead, it returns data in an array to the driver. So you, you I guess you are known of uh, like you know about the architecture of Spark. So there we have a driver node and then we have a worker node here, right? So whenever we use a collect method or action, then all the things will, will get returned into the driver node, to the driver node. Now, what does select do? Select is a transformation that returns a new data frame, holds the column that are selected. Suppose I have written here, select star, then it will hold the value of the all columns. If I, you know, I just select, uh, some columns like id, comma name, comma age, comma x, y, z, then it will hold the value of that columns only. Now, what is the difference between basic difference between collect and select is collect does not return a data frame, should be used with smaller data set. Select returns a data frame, can be used with the larger data set. Now, let me go back to my database and you can see here I have I am using this insert underscore file dot csv for this use case, and we have this id and name as a column, and we have this i one a two b three c four d as a value. Now, what I will do, I will write here df path dot read dot csv, and I will pass this path. And let me use here headers two because we have header in the file. And let me just write df and let me run it. If you see here, it returns a data frame, right? Now, what I will write here, what I will do, I will just write df dot collect, and we'll see the output. Here the output is the array of row type, right? But the question is, suppose you want to, you want to fetch this ID and name uh, values or data, how would you do that? So I will write for i in df.collect since this is what? This is array, right? So I need to iterate. And here I write print i dot id comma i dot name, just run it. You can see we have 1a, 2b, 3c, 4d. If you want to, if you want to, uh, if you write this, then you will get first value. If you like like this, you will get a. If you write this, it will get Error. You, we will get error. So we can change this to one and then change to the we will get B value. Now this is what collect do. Now if I use df dot select now you will see it returns a data frame that is empty for now. So I can write here a star also to returns all the columns name. So you can see we have this data frame id and name now what you can do you can store this into one data frame 
and just do a df uh, df one dot show. Now you can see we have a data. So this is the basic difference between collect and select. Okay, whenever I mean it is up to you when you need to uh, use collect action or when you need to select transformation. Basically, in simple term, you can say collect method or select method. Okay, so I hope you have liked the video till now, and if you if you do, do subscribe and share to my channel. Thank you.